G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawodle, and welcome back to Banished. I'm still horribly addicted to this game, because this game is actually so goddamn cool. I, I love this game, it's so good. I love just town building games, like City Skylines, this one, the old Sim City back in the day when I was like, this big. But uh, yeah, like City Building Games just get my rocker going. So I am back playing Banished, but I have some bad news for you guys. You won't die died <laughs> uh, at the end of the last episode i i did i left i left it there and i saved it and i could i, I continued on for another 20 minutes just trying to get my town like back to normal like to try and get everyone to stop freezing and to try and get them food and stuff like that turns out either my game was glitched or something else was going wrong that i couldn't understand because i had a surplus of wood and everyone was still freezing to death um that led to everyone like obviously died and freeze uh, freezing to death like i just said or they died of starvation because they apparently they couldn't find the food in the goddamn market so, it might have been a broken game, I'm not sure, but that's okay, because I think it's time for the citizens of You Won't Die to move on and start a new world for themselves. I'm not going to call it Humverview, what am I going to call it? <laughs> I'm going to call my town Straya. I am going to be, I'm going to, so I'm going to settle Straya, and I'm going to figure out how to get my citizens or convicts to work and live and be happy. Okay, so Straya, uh, I'm going to have a, yep, large... Large train size. I'm going to step it up a little bit. I'm going to start on hard. Uh, disaster zone, climate fair. Not super hard, but just harder than what it was. Because I feel like now that I've got my toes wet in the game just a little bit, I feel like I, I'm more confident that I can keep my people alive for just a little bit longer. So it's hard difficulty. Please, for the love of God, no one just like die straight away. Just at least try and live for five minutes. Oh, here we go. We're on. We are on. Okay. First thing I want to do, pause the game. Let's have a look at where I am. I'm next to like a, a big pond. That's mad. <gasps> can I put like a bunch of like uh, fishing docks on, on this thing? Can, is that, can I just like load this place up with fishing docks? Uh, uh, none of them fit there. No, my grand plans have all been rolling. I only had them for five minutes and they're already gone. All right, fine. Whatever, I do not care. So what have I got on the hard difficulty? I don't have my barn and I've only got a uh, freaking storage cart. All right, I do have 1,200 potatoes in it. Potatoes. So that should be okay. I shouldn't die immediately with that much food. Um, I need to get my settings up as well. I need it. Uh, and and I, I hate that they... Oh, oh, wait. Can I... I was going to say I hate that they overlap. Can I move? I can move them. All right, I'm going to put my professions down in the bottom corner. Down like this. I'm going to put that up in the corner like that. So I have it on screen at all times. Um, what else is in here that I can use? Is there... Uh, oh, oh, a map. A map will be handy. Uh, that can go in this corner like full Age of Empires spec. You guys probably can't see that because my face will be in the way. But it's up there for me to see. So, never mind. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got another lake over there as well. Um, okay, that should be fine. Where, where the hell... Oh, here is my home base. What is the first thing I want to do? Uh, I guess I want to just go get some resources. So, like, just like all of this... Just, just go and cut it all down, Jeffries. Oh, you're all, you're all paused. Sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, 10 times speed. There we go. And I'm going to need to make somewhere for you to store all this shit once you get it. So we'll go like this and like that. There you go. There is your storage pile. Go and put everything into the storage pile like good little Jeffries. There you go. Good job, Jeffs. So these Jeffs all need a house. Good God, this the trend of trees falling is fucking loud. Uh, yeah, all these Jeffs need a house. And if there's one thing that I... So, in Sydney, there's a place called The Barracks, uh, which is basically, it's a boarding house. There we go, boarding house, that uh, was made when all the convicts arrived on the like on the first fleet and stuff like that. So, they needed someone to put them all up, so they put them all in a barracks. So, I think instead of making individual houses, I'm just going to make a boarding house straight off the bat. I thought the, the boarding house would be for a later date, but, I mean, if they land in Sydney and make a boarding house, then they can land in Australia and make a boarding house, because it's literally the same thing. Okay, everyone's there. Um, I don't have a goddamn storage barn. There we go, storage barn. You can go... Like, it, d wait, the arrows face different ways. D d does that matter? Does that does that cause different things to happen? I genuinely don't know. Um, right, okay. Well, that's going to sit fit nicely in there, like that. Goddamn, the trees are making me deaf! Look at all my supplies. Look at them go. I'm 6% full on my stockpile already. Alright, can some of you, Jeffrey, stop cutting down trees and come and build your boarding house, please? Because you really need to get some cover before winter. It's something you've got, I've got six months to build this shit. I need you to start it okay, right now. There you go. Someone, someone's putting some logs in there. That's fine. I have noticed one thing. The Jeffreys are stupid. They're stupid. 
If, like, if you tell them to go clear forests like they're doing now, they will do nothing else until that forest is cleared. It's like, they're pro even if they're freezing to death, they'll be like, I'm sorry, I can't go build myself some shelter. I have to go and cut down this tree on the other side of the map. I can priorities, dude, priorities. They're so stupid. Just go, like, if I can reassign you. Like, if I go and tell you to clear resources, that should be the bottom of the list. Anything I tell you to build above that, like housing, I should be able to click on this and set, like, a priority to, like, be, I need this done now. There we go, it's almost done. But yeah, there's, like, there's just no common sense. Alright, someone else go clear this thing over here. They're all just freaking idling now. Go and clear out this little peninsula, because that is going to be my fishing hotspot. Where's my river? Oh, there's my river. Okay, that's right. It's alright, guys. Well, okay. There's an awful lot of them just milling around and not helping out with anything. So I'm going to get them to build some paths. I'm going to make a nice stone road in the middle of my, of my town, just like that. Bam, wham, bam, thank you, man. It's now snowing, and the house only just got built. Thank Christ. Look how much goddamn space I can- Look how many people I can have in here! Oh my god. I'm, gonna have a, I'm not going to have to build another house. There we go. Words. For a very, very long time. Because everything apparently can just live in that place. Awesome. It is about to be- It's early winter and I haven't built a goddamn woodcutter yet. Because apparently, you know, they can't just burn logs and they can't figure out how to cut it up themselves. Oh, there's a freaking cart in the way. Alright, fine. Whatever. I'll just build my woodcutter right next to the house. Just like this. Where right there. Okay, we need some more path for that thing. Yeah, they can't figure out how to burn a log unless it's cut up into little tiny pieces form. They're like toddlers. Unless someone's there, like, cutting up all their food into little bite-sized pieces, or like little baby birds where they like, their mother's chews it up for them. They just can't do it. They can't handle, they can't handle that much wood. They, they just, they, they, they little, like, little tiny Jeffrey hands aren't big enough for that kind of log. Oh no, people are starting to starve to death. I may, I may have already cooked my town because I forgot to build anything in the way of, like, food sources. Okay, we need to, let's pause, pause, okay. Uh, where, where can the fishing village go? Fishing can go, get yeah, right, oh shit, like there, and I, oh damn it, I did, I forgot, I was supposed to build a gatherer's hut, like straight off the bat, okay, gatherer's hut goes there, and hunting, because they make a good little partnership, can go there, okay guys, I need you guys to build all that, all that shit for me, I'm gonna have five builders, go, please don't starve to death, this Jeffrey's about to starve to death, that's not good, how, how you doing buddy? Um, Andin, Andin died. Oh, they're already dying! Uh, um, okay, nobody worry about that. That was just a, um, it was just a little dry run just to make sure that it, well, it was like that, wasn't it? There we go, like this. Uh, yeah, it was just a little dry run to make sure that I could still have control of the game, that the recording was fine. That one didn't count, it's fine, it was all, it was all a dream. It was all a dream, don't you guys worry. It's okay. Alright, so this is Straya again. Uh, we are still in Straya. We are resettling Straya. That, that, that first one, that, that was the settlement down in Botany Bay. That one, that one doesn't matter. Everyone, everyone died down there. I don't know why. I'm not going to ask any questions. Let's just assume that uh, something beyond anyone's control happened and they all died. But that's okay because now we have Straya. We are settling Sydney properly this time. We've had it. We've had a little, a, a little accident. But we're not going to talk about that. It's been lost to the tomes of history. Right, I need to get cracking straight away. And get all you Jefferies clearing out some of this shit. Where, where the hell? I've got like a nice little cliff next to me. That's kind of cool. But I need, I just need all of this. All of this needs to get cleared. Oh, that's, that's too much actually. They'll be there for ages. Uh, like that. There we go. All you Jefferies go clear that. Uh, go. Ten times. Thank you very much. And uh, where's my stockpile again? I, I liked what I did last time. Except that every, like I didn't get food done in time. So this time, as long as I just concentrate and make some food properly. Uh, like that. Um, then everything will be alright. Okay, we also need to get our Jeffreys building their goddamn homestead because they're stupid and they can't figure out how to do it themselves. Uh, the, go right in the middle just like that. There we go. We're off to a fire. At right, this time, I'm not going to forget. I've got my gatherer's hut. I'm building my hunting cabin right next to it. Uh, there we go. Uh, yes. We're all, we're looking good. We're looking dandy. This is, a, it's, everything is okay. Uh, because now that I have some sort of food for these Jefferies, they shouldn't die immediately. However, my nearest water source is freaking ages away. Damn it. That's alright. I can get my... I mean, it doesn't matter if I have to walk a long, a long way to go fishing. As long as I can go fishing, I don't really mind too much. There we go. It is early summer and I have the foundations for most of my buildings already done. The Jefferies are doing their jobs. We're gonna be... Okay, what are we long? Reserve on logs is low. That's alright because there's plenty of logs around. Just go out there and just start pulling some shit down. Like all all of this shit here, it's gonna go. Ready? Oh uh, yeah, just like that. 
Right, so when you guys are done doing whatever you guys are doing, go and just cut down all of the natural resources. Bro, full Amazon rainforest. Just cut everything down. The reserve of food is low. Um, guys, I needed you guys to just uh, actually go and finish off these buildings. You've got the foundations there. Can someone please just go and make them? All right, I'm going to automatically just assign some gatherers. There's four gatherers and like three hunters. Uh, who have I got left? I've got one. No, actually no. I'm not going to assign any fishermen just yet because I need... I need to have them not freeze to death. God, I'm forgetting how to, like, play the early stages of the game. You'd think I'd remember that shit, but turns out I don't, because I am an idiot. All right, right uh, there. There we go. And I'm going to uh, continue that path. There we go. I can't... My mouth is just in working today. I can't say the words I'm thinking. Yes, my gatherer's hut's up. <laughs> please, for the love of God, please go... Yes, I found some mushrooms. That's right. Please, surely now, they can't starve to death. Surely that's going to be... We're going to be okay now. I, I have confidence that we're going to be okay. We're coming into into winter. It's early spring. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. All the trees has got green. That was nice and cute. Uh, and I still don't have a woodcutters because Jeffries are too busy building some goddamn paths. Can you just, like, build the shit you need to survive first? Can you uh, prioritize the shit or let me prioritize it for you? Because you're all goddamn stupid when it comes to this. All right, that's all right, though, because I, I have 10 adults and I have 10 children. So people are getting their bang on inside the boarding house. I mean... That's a, that's that's gonna be a little weird for some people. I mean, they're all like bunkering together in there. Like, imagine if you're like in your bunk, like all wrapped up in your nice little sheet blanket that you made out of like a weed somewhere, and next to you is just like Jeff and Jeffette getting their fucking pork on. Like you, I, you wouldn't sleep in there. That's just like this is just like a fucking like whorehouse, but like people live here. I wish I could click on the roads and tell them to stop building them for a second. Doesn't matter if the path, if the one block of path isn't there. It is gonna matter in about a month. When it's goddamn negative, like 20 degrees, you're freezing to death because no one decided to build a goddamn woodcutter. You're so goddamn close. Could one of you. What's, what's wrong now? Reserve of food is low. How's the food low? There's a whole freaking trailer of it right here. Jeffrey's just look into the goddamn cart. You put it all in there. Now you're like, oh, duh, where's all my food gone? Just look where you left at last. Jesus Christ. All right, good. Here we go. Woodcutter's getting put up. Here we go. Please, for the love of God, make my people warm. Boom, there we go. Okay, now we can build this thing. I put pause on it so no one will get distracted and build that shit instead. But now, hopefully, there we go. Yes, things are coming together. See, I, I shouldn't build paths ever again. They just take up too much goddamn time and everyone loses their goddamn mind. Like, oh, oh, I could build a path. Oh, fuck my survival. Let's build a path. I just knocked the microphone. Damn it. All right, I'm going to do something a little silly. And I'm going to say, like, just like all, all of the stone west of the road needs to go. We need to get rid of all of this because the, the trees are what matters to me, not the stones and the iron. So I'm going to get all of the little gubbins out from underneath the trees. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and plant... I've got uh, a spare laborer, so I'm going to go ahead and plant a forestry thingy up here, like this, to make this area here, like, super duper awesome for, like, growing uh, things for gathering and all that kind of stuff. This is going to... Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. I think I might have changed my mind. Hang on. Everyone stop. Everyone stop. Uh, where's my pause? There it is. If I... Because I feel like that... Because that's my river, and this is where I started. So if I just get rid of all of this shit here, then I can use that for, like, my farms, all that kind of stuff. I don't want that to be a forest, necessarily. I, I should probably go down this way and do, like, all my gathering and stuff down here. Because then, I mean, I can have all my farms and stuff. I can have it all centralized. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a way better idea. I'm going to build... Where so I've already built my shit up there. Damn it! I, my my rush to get food to start with has come back to bite me. Who would have guessed? Uh, I don't think I have a choice right now. I'm gonna have to build the forest to camp, uh, just there because that's where all that shit already is. I can go the other way. I can expand out this way. I've got a nice little valley I, I, I can work with. It's not very square. There's going to be a lot of odd angles, which is going to make me mad. But that's all right. I'll get through it somehow. It is late autumn. We're coming into winter. We've got food. We've got some leather. We've got nothing in the storage bump. We do have some stockpile. So that should be okay. Everything will be okay, guys. Just, it's, just keep calm. Keep calm and keep working and chopping down trees and not dying. Right, I'm sick of people using this storage cart and not using the amazing storage barn I've built for you. So I'm going to delete this. Guys, I need you guys to empty out that shit. Whatever food is low. Is that... But it's all in here. Look, you've got plenty in here. Yes, yeah, just move it out of there into the barn and you'll be fine. Okay, once that's gone, my je my, my Jeffs... I'm going to gentlemen's. That's, I've never called anything a gentleman. My Jefferies are going to need some more tools. Um, so there we go. It's gone. And that's a perfect spot for a uh, blacksmith. There we go. I've got my blacksmith and I've got my woodcutter. 
So that should be okay in regards to like the things that these people actually need to live. What else should we be putting in here? Um, oh, a tailor. Have enough people for a tailor? I do have enough people for a tailor. This is this will be fine. I'm gonna put you. Where am I gonna put you? You don't fit anywhere. Damn it! Okay, let's put you just like. Let's just make this like the main street. This is the main street of the town, just like that. There we go. I'm gonna uh, finish off the road down to there. All right, there we go. Looking nice and dandy. This is good. I'm happy. This should be okay. Surely, like, there's still so much room left in this. Look, look how much empty slots left in the boarding house. No one's ever going to go homeless. I never have to build another house. My whole village can be centered around one big communal fuckhouse. Well, people's tools are starting to break. Lucky I just decided to build you guys a blacksmith. You will have tools in no time. It's all right, guys. I got this. I got yo backs. I just need this building to be complete. 93. Can so someone come back to the job site and finish this shit off? There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, baby. There we go. Blacksmith is up. Put a Jeff ring in there. There you go. Make myself... Oh, my God. Is that... That's a mushroom. God, look how big the freaking mushrooms are in this world. Look, look at that. Look at this shit. Look at the size of them. God, no wonder, like, I can feed a whole goddamn village off them. They're half the size of a fucking tree. Look at them, look at them compared to the size of a Jeffrey. Um, wait, no, I don't want to pause. I just want to bring it down to, like, one time speed. Look, look how big the Jeffrey is, and look how big the mushrooms is. Like, you could surf down, you could float down the river holding onto those giant mushrooms. I don't know where I am, but apparently there's a steroids in the ground, because that is ridiculous. Tashwana the hunter was trampled by a wild boar. Tashwana, what are you doing? How are you, like, there's no, look, first of all, there's no wild boars freaking out here, but like, you're like three feet from town. How did that happen to you? What are you doing out here? Do you not know how to hunt? Like, you're supposed to be the expert hunter, and you're just getting trampled by pigs. I mean, come on, you're not, it's getting in their way for the buffet line. It's not like your fucking neighbor has been scoffing her face all day and just got mad at you for mowing her lawn or stepping on a fence. For goodness sake, just get out of the goddamn way of the tasky prick. You know, I'm looking across at this, like, this island across the river from me. And, oh uh, my god, the deer have floated over there. But, uh, there's a lot of resources over here that I could, I would like to use. Um, so I might just go straight ahead and build a bridge. Where's my thingy? There it is. A uh, bridge from like here straight across to there. Now the, I, I, I realize it doesn't actually build it from where I click, so I don't have to get too paranoid about where I'm clicking for that kind of shit. But I can get my camera to move. There we go. Uh, but it will mean that I know where my path has to go later, so I have to build it up after the fact. There we go. They're building my bridge. I can get across and just start just like chopping down everything on the other side. And that will be a good time. I've cleared out some land behind me. We're looking good. What else do I have? Oh yeah, the other thing is, because I'm on hard, I discovered that I don't have any seeds. I have no seeds, I have, like, I can't build orchards, or crop fields, or anything. I have to wait for a trader to show up, and that reminds me, I should probably build a goddamn trader. Where is it? Is. I, I can't forget what this is. It looks like an antelope eating, like, a fish. Like, it's the body of the antelope, and, like, the, the antlers, and, like, the fish down. Oh, wait! Wait! Wait, they're shaking hands. It's two hands shaking hands. I get it. I get it, guys. It's okay. I can I, I can understand symbols. Oh, God. I'm, I'm so stupid. I nearly have a storage barn literally full of food. I have, I have, I have almost reached capacity of food and hide coats. That is um that is a good time. And my, my stockpile is running at 75%. This is good. I like this. So I have... 13, I have 1,300 venison. God damn, I have been slaying some deer. All right, this is good though. I need, I need to figure out, because I've only got four children. They're not banging in the bang pad as much as they used to, which is a little bit upsetting. I need to figure out what the next thing I should be doing is. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know I have to build that trading post. That's, a, that's like my first port of call. How far out does this thing reach? So I'm going down to there. So I'm going to also just like go like this. I'm going to clear all of this out, and that can be some room for farms and stuff when a trader shows up and gives me some seeds. What now? What is wrong with you people? Oh, I'm still like almost full of goods. That's all right. It's okay. I'd rather be full than everyone like fucking, oh, it literally is full. I'd rather that than everyone just goddamn starving to death. Um, what, where, I should probably build another barn then. Where should I build another barn? Probably just up here with everything else that's going on. This is like, this is like a town between towns. Like eventually this will get like, this will get swallowed up by the main town. But I mean, for the moment, there's just a little town on the outskirts, just doing its thing. Um, how big is a is a thingo? It's like a 
Oh, what is it? It's like seven, seven by five. So I've got like this. Then those two will be the same size, and we will be happy. Yes, my training post is finally built. Okay, put one of the one of the Jeffreys in there. Will someone please go build this goddamn storage barn. All I'm getting told is my storage is near capacity. Just someone go and build that. Someone is building that shit. Thank God. You're building it now. No, nope, saying it's 71. All right, whatever. Don't care. That one's that one's almost full as well. But yeah, I just need the other storage barn over here so that hopefully everyone can stop yelling at me about the goddamn surplus of food we have. You're complaining about having too much food. What the dick? Everyone out there, go talk to all the people in my last town who were starving to death and freezing to death. You're all warm and you're all well fed and fat. You're all happy and not hungry and just healthy. So you should all just like shut your gobs and the best way to do that is to fill it with a fucking Big Mac. So go to the barn and start goddamn eating. Thank God my storage barn's finally full. There we go. You can start putting things in there. We are kicking along nicely. I also need to actually put some things into my trading post for when a Trader Joe comes down and wants to actually give me some shit. Um, I've got a surplus of firewood almost all the time. I'm going to put 500 firewoods in there. And I'm going to put in... What else am I going to put in here? You know what? That'll do. That, that'll be enough for the trader when he comes down eventually. Everything is going pretty well. Everything is kicking along nicely. The uh, Forest of Lodge has a surplus. Uh, blacksmith is a surplus. You don't have any got any freaking leather to work with. So maybe I need to make another hunting cabin somewhere. I have three builders. I don't have that many builders. Uh, I only need one builder now that I've, I've built everything I need. Where should I put another hunting cabin? Probably up here. That'll be a good a good spot to do it. So I'll quickly put that down, and then we'll have to see it get built in the next episode because this episode is almost done. Uh, this is gonna be one of the last things I do, and then that will be the end of that. That will be the end of that chapter. Put you there. We're also gonna need a gatherer's hut because they always go together like that. Um, we need my forestry thing. There it is. So this is the thing. I'm just gonna make like little, little, little tiny towns all over the place. It's like little, little places where people can go and work and live and play and have good times. Um, I'm gonna need like I'm probably gonna need like some storage huts and stuff up there as well. Uh, what's yeah? That's hunting cabin. Yeah, that, that that'll be fine. The final piece to resistance, as always though is the path that connects it all. Um, where are you? Do you, Why does the path always go that way? God damn, so annoying. We go like this, all the way down. Oh, you fit in perfectly. Oh, you fit in so well to my previous road. Okay, that's just like that. That'll be fine. Oh, that's sexy. I didn't realize it was gonna match up so goddamn perfectly to that, but I love that it does. Okay, so they're gonna go off and they're gonna build all that shit up there and that will be fine. But we're going to have to see what progress that out, what happens with that in the next episode because Straya is kicking along nicely. People are alive, people are happy, no one's freezing to death yet. I'm waiting on the Trader Joe to shop. I wish what which way does the current go? Current's going that way, so I need to check for him all the way down here. Trader Joe, are you coming? Are you here yet, Trader Joe? I need you. I need your seeds. Oh, wait, that sounds bad. I, I, I take that back. Never mind. Anyway, I am, after all that blubbering on about Trader Joe's and shit, going to leave this episode. Episode. I don't know. I, I'm too busy yelling at my Jeffreys for not getting their own food out of the goddamn barn that I, I've just lost the ability to actually say the word episode. You wouldn't think I was going to say it every goddamn day. I forget it. But anyway, I am going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.